countryside where the weather is fine. It's Ribena time, so. I hope there's audio now. Anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um... Oh, why is there no audio? There's no audio at all. <sighs> Hang on. There's no... You can't hear me at all. Do, 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 okay. Can you hear me? I, I don't know what's going on. There seems to be a lot of lag with the chat for some reason. Um, okay. Not quite sure why you can hear me talking suddenly. Anyway, I'm going to continue like you can hear me. Um, let me know if you can't. So, hello, everyone. <laughs> uh, sorry, that was a bit of a weird delay. So, um, I don't know why I'm having tons of lag. Um, there shouldn't be tons of lag. Hang on. No, we've got nothing there. There is lag. Why is there lag? Hmm. I'm not sure why the game is lagging so much. Bear with me.
Yeah, I'm not sure why it's lagging so much. It wasn't this bad before, and for some reason it's now started to freak out. Um, everything technically should be hunky-dory. It's not my router. My router is absolutely fine. Um, I've got a little speed running test that I can check how fast the router is running. It's fine. It seems to be OBS freaking out for some reason. It's saying dropped frames, like 65% of the frames are dropping. Don't know why that is, because CPU usage is fine. And my RAM usage is fine. So I don't know what that's about. Um, one second, and I will try <laughs> opening the game and closing it again. Um, let's try again. Yeah, I, I, I know about the lag. It's OBS is uh, dropping frames basically every other frame. Um, hang on. Let's try again. I'm sorry about this, guys. I honestly have no idea. This has n not, not happened like this before. Right, apologies, I may need to stop the stream and start it again, see if that fixes it. I'm honestly not sure why this is doing what it's doing. Bear with me one second. It, it's not YouTube streaming, it, it's, it's OBS on my end for some reason. Uh, just give me a sec. Okay, right. I'll give it another go. Let me know if it's, this is any better. I'm hoping this is better. If it's not, I'm not quite sure what to do. Um, other Apart from end the stream and start again. Um, this happens every single time. <laughs> start a new series and this is always what happens. First episode. Um... I'm hoping this is marginally better. It should be, technically. But, um... Yeah. 
Boop, 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 boop. I'm hoping this has fixed it. But um yeah, we will we will see. This is this is single player, yes. If someone can let me know if this is better or not, I uh, would appreciate it. Um, I clearly did forget to sacrifice something, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's working now. Okay, I'm going to act like it is working. And if it's not, shout at me and I will uh, have to do something about it. Anyway, welcome to a new series of Project Zomboid. So we are starting off with our character, Terry Bane, who is naked for some reason. Uh, so... Right. Okay. I'm hoping I'm back now, and I'm hoping it's better. <laughs> I'm really hoping it's better. Um, so I've had to lower the resolution output a bit and do a few more things, but I'm hoping that it is now working and not as laggy. It shouldn't be laggy, but apparently it is for whatever reason. somewhat better okay good I, I i will take somewhat better good right we're gonna go from there then we'll see how it goes um if it if it is worse i will have to stop and properly redo it again but for some reason obs was freaking out i'm not quite sure why it wasn't a youtube issue it's a me issue so if the obs it might need an update or something not quite sure what uh what the issue was there anyway we're gonna go from there again so we start off as Terry Bane. We're only 20 minutes late. That's fine. <laughs> um, we start off as Terry Bane, who woke up with complete total amnesia. I know it's not really a thing, but we're going to pretend it is for the time being. And we're going to have to figure out what is going on in the world, why we are here, all alone, and what happened to the world. We're playing with insane population for zombies. We're playing with next to no loot. It's uh, ridiculously rare, even worse, as well as a few other mods that make life just hell for us. We start off on this strange bunker in the middle of nowhere, uh, injured and with very little skills to speak of. And we just have to try and survive is the premise of this anyway. So let's go around and see what we can find in this bunker. I hope we can actually find some clothing uh, just so that we can actually get by. Uh, if you're interested in the mods that I am using, you can check out the uh, description below. I've got the list of mods I'm using. Uh, it, this may change, but... Uh, basically, uh, I had some issues where I was meant to be using... I put it all on my desktop, then I had a brain fart, used my laptop, and uh, yeah, I've been with my laptop all day, so I haven't actually been able to get hold of the files that I originally made, so apologies for that. But let's go through the character traits. So, Terry Bane, we are thin-skinned, deprived, slow healer, injured... Prone to illness, weak stomach, but we are a herbalist, we're a fast learner. We're an amateur mechanic, outdoorsman, dexterous, uh, organized. We're also a wildsman, fit, stout, and underweight. The idea is, is we're kind of, this is 10 years later, so we're kind of like, we, we've, we've grown up in the apocalypse. So we're kind of naturally, uh, we, we naturally know about herbalism, we naturally are a wildman. So we are like that, but our skills are actually pretty bleak. We've only got a fraction of the skills that we would need to survive. And to top it all off, we are injured with um, a variety of different things. So uh, we're going to have to try and survive in the world, in an insane population world. We do have a few things. Uh, and that's the other thing. We do have a few. <laughs> We've got the mod that locks um, some containers. So we're going to have to go through that. If we can't find the keys... Oh my god, we actually found... a I wasn't expecting to find a bag anytime soon. That's amazing. Uh, we have ridiculously rare, mo uh, rare loot, even worse. So the fact we found anything, to be honest, in this is a miracle. Uh, the fact that we have 
found pretty much a full so a full supply of clothing is quite nice. Let's go through, see what else we can find. So the problem is that pretty much all water is going to be tainted already. We're going to have to boil up the water or we're going to have to do something else for to get water. Boil it up, whatever. So that's going to be interesting that straight away we're going to have to deal with that. On top of that, food and everything in general is going to be rare to find. Uh, so we're going to struggle. Very, very much so. Uh, what's in here? Scrap electronics. No. There is a generator though. Which I can't use. But it's good to know there is one. Okay, where are we? Okay. Well, this is the bunker. This is very nice. And thank you, Valise, for gifting the membership. That is very, very nice of you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we're in the middle of nowhere. But I've added all these different bunkers and different things in the mod, so you can check these out. There are a bunch of new mods that add towers and various bunkers dotted around the world. It looks like a really, really awesome mod, so yeah. I'm, um, I'm interested to check it out. And I ha because of the fact that I had to make this pack very quickly after I left the packet on my other computer, there may be some issues. I'm hoping there won't be, but I did put this together in about 15 minutes. So <laughs> if there's issues, that's why. But anyway, we're going to go out here and we're going to see if we can find maybe a weapon or something to actually use against the zombies. Fertilizer is not going to help us. Um, tire sport. Yeah, hang on. Um, yeah, it's fine. Cool. Uh, glass pane. I don't know what we do with a glass pane. I'm using a bunch of new mods I haven't actually used before. So this is going to be exciting for me because I get to discover all the new mods I haven't been able to use recently. Because uh, I, I decided to have a little break from Project Zombot. I've been playing it on the channel for... It's about three years now? God, it's ages. Uh, so I decided to take a little break from it just so that I can uh, enjoy it once again because it's, it's nice to keep stuff fresh and uh, not overdo it. So, yeah, it's nice to be back. Ooh, lemongrass seeds. Or lemon... Was that lemongrass? Yeah, lemongrass seeds. Okay. And we've got a bed. Okay, the problem is we don't have any water. Uh, we could probably have a drink... Mm. I'd rather not drink it from the barrels. If we find some water in, like, a river or something, I'm more than happy to have a drink from that. But uh, we shouldn't die if we have a quick drink. But I'm worried if we had a drink from the source, like a water barrel, it might make us really ill. So I'd rather not, unless I had to. Now. Hmm. Let's check out this car very, very quickly. Nothing in there. Now, there are no vanilla... There should be, anyway. No vanilla cars. Oh, that's a bit of lag. <laughs> First car we get into. Um, there should be no vanilla cars at all in this game. I have disabled all of them. There's only KI5's mods. So, this is going to be really interesting seeing all the cars. I've also got a few different mods that enable the different scenarios you come across, like the police blockades and things. They will all be uh, using... KI5's mods instead. So I'm really interested to see how that's going to work out. Also, all the wrecks as well should be the same. So that's going to be really, really cool. So every car we come across, we should easily be able to take apart and, yeah, do everything. All should be great. I'm really hoping it's not... <laughs> it's not RIP for everyone. Uh, right. So we come, we come across a bit of food, which is nice. Uh, let's take them. Good. Uh, we're going to have to pray that we come across something that's going to get rid of some of our thirst. Okay, that's right then. Um, because this does... Uh, oh no, that oh, that's, doesn't help with boredom. Okay. Uh, I shouldn't have been eating that. That's awful for boredom. Um, let's throw that on the floor. Good. Okay. We are looking for basically some form of water source we are bang smack in the middle of the map pretty much i think we are just on the outskirts of west point near ponio rome so i think hopefully if we continue north we should end up near a water source now annoyingly i think we probably wouldn't be this thirsty if i wasn't wasting 20 minutes half an hour on it 
but yeah. Um, I'm getting mixed messages from everyone. Some people say it's not good. Some people say it's good. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what to do. Um, okay, some people say refresh and it's fine then. I, I would suggest refresh and then let me know if you're having issues still. Ooh, small bird. No, we don't want that. And we've all instantly gone up a foraging level. Well, that's because we're fast learner and also that we've got the uh, passion in it. That's all right. Okay. Uh, wooded area. Haven't crossed. Come let me. Ugh, haven't crossed. Uh, come across any zombies yet? Which is promising. If it's still laggy, I will reduce it even more. Um, nettles, cool. Okay, bear with me one sec. I'll 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 be back. Okay, tried it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is getting getting frustrating. I don't know why it's lagging so much. So I I do apologise to everyone. Uh, um. I'm presuming it's something to do with OBS needing an update or something. But I'm hoping I've reduced the resolution a little bit more. Hoping that is a bit better. If it's not, let me know. Anyway. Let's continue on our merry way. Is that a zombie there? I saw rustling. No, but there's something there. What are you? Uh, Black Sage, actually. That would be good for the pain. Good. Right, so... These nettles, they don't help with thirst. None of that helps with thirst. Okay. Right, we're just going to continue up. Come on. I am I am panicking a little bit that it's not it's not working. So if someone <laughs> someone could comment just to make sure that you are actually, uh, someone is there. That'd be good. Ooh, leak. Actually, that should give us some thirst. Please, please, please. We're here. Good. Okay. We got some thirst back from a leak and we've foraged, we've gone up foraging again. How quickly are we getting this foraging? Very quickly. Good. Right. Uh, we're still desperate for water though. It's stuttering more. Okay. Right. Uh. Okay. Well. Got a log. Right, if it's lagging, uh, give me another minute. Right, I'm going to give this one last go. <laughs> I'm hoping it's working for you all. If it's not and it's extremely laggy, I'm just going to have to stop and call it a day. I don't know why it's doing this. Yeah, if, um, if, it, if it doesn't get any better, I'm just going to have to go. Uh, I, I don't know why it's doing this, so I, I do apologise, I don't know why. I haven't had this problem like this before, so yeah, uh, mushrooms. Uh, mushrooms are good, they should give, yeah, we're herbalist. That's fine, let's have them. They give us thirst, we're herbalist, so we should be able to have them, and that will help a little bit with our thirst. If it's still laggy, I'm going to have to start again, and uh, probably reset the save and do it all again. But hopefully it's not, and hopefully it's fine, and we can uh, continue on our merry way. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> hopefully it's fine. It's very good now. Excellent. Good. So I don't really know what's going on with OBS, but I, I did everything I can, and it seems to be better. Hopefully it's better for all of you lot. Um, had to play around with a load of settings, but... Touch wood. Should be better. Hopefully. Maybe the quality is a bit less, but it should at least be working. Good. <laughs> Good. Right, anyway. Um, I'm assuming it's getting late because 
it's it's getting dark and we have no fur we've got no drink we've got no watch we've got no weapon uh, so i really need a stone or something so that we can at least start uh, making some tools and things good excellent right so if you missed it the premise is that we start off in a bunker uh naked and in the middle of nowhere and we don't really know why we're there and we on this journey hopefully we survive it is that we are going to try and discover what's going on in the world why we are here why we we seem to be the only one alive i suppose why we were naked <laughs> and uh yeah what's going on but for now we are lucky enough to have got a load of uh, equipment and stuff because honestly i wasn't expecting to get any of this so pretty happy we have extremely rare loot going so that's going to be an issue going forward is just getting any loot in general and it's going to be difficult we also have a uh, worse looting option which means some uh, particularly interesting uh, loot containers are locked so we're gonna have to try and find the keys for those so that we can go and loot them or we could use a crowbar if we're lucky enough to find yeah a crowbar but oh yay water we're saved good and i know where we are now which is very nice. So using 10... Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Um, right, fine. There's only two of them. And uh, there's more. Let's quickly just do a little run. If I can drink... That will help immensely. How many? Two. I can do with two. I can do with two. One. Two. Good. And what do we have with you? We got a watch. Good. Good, 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 good. Um, I suggest you refresh. Sounds not good now. <sighs> okay. Is anyone else having sound issues? This is getting really frustrating. Okay. Um, I suggest you refresh. Some people are having issues with sound, some people aren't. Uh, I would suggest refresh and see what it's like. Okay. Okay, fine. Some people say it's fine. So I, if you're having issues, I suggest refreshing the page. Good. Anyway. I know roughly where we are. So we are on the road between West Point and Riverside. So I think what we're going to want to do is get to where the three houses are. Which is one of my favourite locations to base anyway. Going to go up there. And just so that we can uh, kind of get to grips with what we're doing. See if we can find a weapon. Some basic tools. And then we can start venturing around the place. The problem is the fact that we are on insane population is going to be tricky to do anything there are a few mods we've got which make uh, life a little bit easier but uh we'll get into that when we get into that so uh we've got a few let's let's do a little, little run little run little run i'm hoping we can lose most of them i don't mind some attacking us if it's like one two at a time we can deal with that uh luckily we don't seem to be we're nauseous after having a drink uh, I'm hoping that wears off by some wild pain relief. Uh, nettles, yes, 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 yes. That should wear off, technically. Although we drank from a source that was tainted, it should wear off. That's what I hope anyway. Otherwise, that's a very, very quick stream. <laughs> to be fair, we probably should have been able to get to somewhere and have a drink way before that. Uh, the issues with the stream cause about five minutes of mucking around. But it's fine. I'm sure we'll be fine. Let's take you out. Paper clip and a sheet of paper actually will be really useful. Uh, let's take them as well because we can rip them up later. For now, I just need to get further and further into the woods. If we get more into the woods, we should technically be safe. Uh, 
round here there are very, there should be very very few zombies i mean the fact that we're on the same population and we haven't seen many kind of says all that there should be a lot more than this so there should be a little cabin in the woods just up here somewhere and there should be a wood burner stove yeah, but to be fair, you, you, you should get nauseous. Well, you might get uh, queasy or nauseous, but it should wear off. As long as I don't do that again, we should technically be okay. Um, if I drank it from a water bottle, then yeah, we would be really, really, really ill. But I think just having one drink from that is normally acceptable levels of illness. But if we can just get a little bit further up here... We should be able to... Oh, no, we're sick. Why? No! Come on. This might be a very, very quick stream. <laughs> oh, everything has gone wrong today. Uh, great. Okay. We'll see what we can do. Uh, what should we do? What should we do? What should we do? Yeah, that's what I was planning on doing was foraging, but the problem is how late it is. Uh, we could get extremely lucky and find it, I guess. Uh, let's have a look. We can't really focus on it yet. If we get lucky, we could find lemongrass. Come on. Normally when you drink from the sauce once, it doesn't really make you that ill unless that's been fixed since i haven't played the game for a few months and they've done that in a patch and i'm unaware of then that's 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 my fault <laughs> but hopefully we find some lemongrass or we die oh i should have waited and now i can't see where i'm going great uh let's just try and have a quick peek. Yeah, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Come on. Oh, we have a light, don't we? We've got a tiny light. Let's equip that in primary. That should help a little bit. Only for a minute, but... Yeah, we go. We should hopefully at least have a few minutes of uh, light enable us to uh, forage something. If we can get some lemongrass, it'll be a bloody miracle, though. Come on. I've never had this issue. Unless it's a mod that's changed that, which it may well be, and I'm unaware of it. Uh, <laughs> in which case, uh, yeah, that's uh, that's my bad. Come on. I think the best thing for us to do is really just get somewhere where we can sleep right now. End the foraging, see if I can figure out where we are. Right, we're near the river. So I guess this way. I'm aiming for the three houses by the lake, uh, which is west of West Point, for those who are wondering where I'm going. Uh, but there is a little cabin just south of them, which has a little log burner stove, and that's what I'm aiming for. So if I can get to there, we're golden, and we can kind of rest up for a few days, and we'll be great. Uh, let's try and just take some black sage. And the light's already gone. Wonderful. So now we're just going in the dark. <laughs> and you can't see anything, and I can't see anything. This is uh, all great. No, I don't want that centipede. Go away. So we're just going to have to hope and pray that we can come across something or other. Um, here we go. Come on. Zoom right in. <laughs> you can kind of make make, make out my character if I do that. Uh, yeah, because if we look at this, how bad it is. Yeah, we're uh, horrendous. It's like minus 80%. Oh, God. I'm going to have to come out of it so I can actually see where I am. Even then, I don't think it's going to be great, is it? No. We might just have to wait. Uh, wait it out for a few hours. Okay, what's this? Oh, we're at the road. Okay, we don't want to be at the road. 
push back up here then. Okay, so we've roughly figured out where we are. Okay, we're getting a bit tired. It's fine. Check the map quickly, quickly, quickly. Uh, right. Oh, there. Um, oh, I know we're near it yet. Okay, we've still got a little way to go. Fine. For some reason I thought we were further up than we were. Um, yeah, apologies. I, it, it has been a little while since I've actually played. Since the last series, I pretty much just uh, stayed away from the game so that I can come back uh, well, fully happy to play. Because I've been playing pretty much non-stop for three years. It does get a bit much after a while, so it's always nice just to step away just to keep it... Um, fun to play rather than a chore and i do really like playing but sometimes um sometimes it can get a bit much but yeah i i, I should have really had a proper refresher play before i did this uh <laughs> as you can probably tell because we're dying already and it's been what five minutes but see if we can at least make it to these three houses yeah um water shouldn't it shouldn't affect weak stomach we do have weak stomach but unless something's changed, um, unless something's changed or a mod's added it, drinking from the source should only really make you sick, max nauseous, and then it should wear off. Um, so, not quite sure. I'm presuming a mod has changed that. Unless there's been a patch note very recently that has changed something or other. We're going to have to see. Um, sleeping might help. But sleeping on the floor is, um, yeah, we're going to have to be very, very tired to be able to do that, and we're in pain. So we do have some black sage, which may help. If we can take the black sage, we might be able to just lie down and go to sleep, which should help somewhat. Okay, we're in minor pain. Uh, sit on the ground, see if we can go to sleep. Mm, no. Okay. No sleeping for us, then. <sighs> I do also have another mod that changes how sleeping works, so that's going to be interesting to find out how exactly that works. So there's a different comfort level you can do. And the more comfortable you are, including what clothes you're wearing, where you're sleeping, and I think the things you've got equipped affects your comfort level. So if, obviously, if you're wearing, like, pyjamas and you're in a bed and you've got a pillow, I think that's, like, max snugness. Whereas if you're in, like, full armor, like, scrap armor, which we do have, if we've got, like, that, and we're sleeping on the b a bathroom floor with your axe and katana equipped, I think you are, yeah, not very comfortable at all. Um, we'll put that in there. I'm not going to eat it, but it could be good for fishing, I guess, later on. So, yeah, uh, there's a lot, a lot of mods that I am not that aware of, but they're all quite new, and I'm excited to all try them out. Uh, the quality has been downgraded a little bit, yeah, just because I was trying to make it so that it was actually watchable for people. Um, although you can't really see much right now, <laughs> because it's just all all dark. Um, but yeah, I did have to downgrade it a little bit, just because otherwise um, it wasn't working at all. So, okay. No, we're now feverish. Great. Okay, we're, we're borderline between sick and fever. Increasing danger of death. I'm wondering, actually, if this is to do with, the, to do with our wounds. Hang on. That might be part of it. Uh, let's have a think. Scratch infection. Yeah, that probably, probably doesn't help, does it? Let's try fixing ourselves up, then. Come on. Uh, dirty bandage. No, 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 no. That's ripped something else up. Come on, we must have something else. Uh, why aren't we wearing those? We were wearing them. Let's rip those up. Okay, rip sheets. Fever. We're going to die. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Okay. 
To be fair, I'm not sure if that's the case. That might be something that was completely unavoidable if we're injured. Um, didn't even anticipate that. So may have to do a different starting situation if uh, <laughs> if that is the case. Um, okay. Yeah. Because... Yeah, we, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. But we probably will die at this point. Which is a massive shame, but... That's my fault for being unprepared. <sighs> it's the first time watching a stream for me. <laughs> it's a great, great, great first stream to watch as I'm just about to die horribly. Um, yeah, that wasn't good, was it? Okay. Might need to try again. Uh, but maybe some slightly different, uh, <laughs> different traits. Because I think that was the injury that did that. I think we had multiple infections on our wounds. And that's what did it. Let's try again. So, where were we? Let's try... Let's just try again. Uh, blah, blah, blah. I've got it all saved up. Yes. Uh, back. No, back. So, let's get rid of injured. And let's get rid of amateur mechanic then. And we will give us... Oh, I hate speed demon. Hmm... Hmm. Although prone to illness probably doesn't help, especially in this. Okay, let's get rid of that. And 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 and. and. I think unlucky is fairly deserved at this point. Let's go with unlucky. There we go. <laughs> and we'll try again with Terry. We don't actually have any clothes, so don't worry. Right. Let's try again. Good. Right. Well, we're going to pretend like none of that happened. Welcome to the stream, everyone. <laughs> so, um, we are actually going to be probably in more of a position than I was expecting, where we have nothing now because we took everything. But... Uh, let's try, see if we can sleep. We're not tired, of course we're not. Comfort would be snug as a bug. Ooh, very nice. There is a pillow nearby. No. So if we have a pillow nearby, that helps our sleepiness. Right. Um, sleep. Good quality. Why is that one good, but then the other one isn't? Um, no. No. I don't tend to give myself more points. Oh, we do have a poncho that I missed. That's quite nice. We'll have some clothing. Um, I don't know why it's so dark as well, because I did set it... I thought I set it to brighter night, so apologies, because it does not seem to be brighter night. Let's open a pack of glow sticks. Ooh, pink. Uh, a razor extinguisher. Is it a weapon? No. Okay, let's just uh, activate a glow stick. Activated. That's a quip. And then at least you can see some stuff. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Brilliant. Okay. Let's go around and see if we can actually find anything here. I think there was another pair of boots, if I vaguely remember, that we didn't pick up. Yeah, there we go. That's something. Boom. Okay, so we're not going to be uh, completely useless from now on. We'll take the tarp as well, because we might be able to make a tent eventually. Right. And it is the middle of the night. I think it's probably about 2am. So we should probably not leave. We should probably hang around for a bit until... Uh, well... Until it's the morning and then we can actually set off proper. Um, yeah, that's... Keep that door shut. That's fine. Let's just stay in here for a little bit. And then we're going to set off. Nothing's working. Oh, it says what the current time is. I wonder what that mod's from, but that shouldn't be working. <laughs> oh, no, it's got the clock. It's got a clock. I see. That's very clever. Cool. Well, it's 427 in the <laughs> in the game, so it's pretty close. Yeah. Um. Right, can we actually sleep? No, that's just uh, fast forward. Just for a little bit. And then hopefully it'll be light outside. There we go. It's getting light already. Nice. And then, because I don't like it. I might need to adjust the settings, uh, yeah, off camera next time. But, it's the day. We should all be able to see now. And was there anything else that I missed? Probably. 
but now we have absolutely nothing. So, we're in the same position as before, but worse. Good. Right, back to what we are doing before. Although, actually, this time we're not injured, so we do have that going for us, I guess. So we should be fine. Let's continue on our merry way, as we were before. And, uh, yeah, see if we can find anything. So, uh, weather bonus, plus 17 crouching bonus. Yeah, yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, we do have functional appliances. So, yeah. Um, which is a mod I haven't used before. So, again, there's quite a few mods I am using that I have never used before. And this was a good trial run just to see what I could find, what I could experience. Um, yeah, just while I'm planning the uh, next recording mod pack and uh, videos that I'm doing. Oh, no worries. <laughs> right. Anyway. Once again, the plan is... Uh, like like it was before, we're going to pretend like the last life didn't didn't happen and all the problems that uh, were <laughs> entailed with it. We're going to go to the little three houses that are west of West Point. That's the plan. If we can get there, we can get our bearings and then we can venture out into the world. There's quite a few different uh, little maps and uh, little map mods that I've got installed. So there was a few different locations I haven't been to, which would be fun to explore. And I'm more than happy to add more as uh, time goes by so if you've got any recommendations of things to add let me know and i'm happy to add them in uh, one of the things you probably noticed that we got grow medical herbs uh it, yeah unlucky might have reduced starting equipment but to be fair we've got deprived so we wouldn't have any anyway and uh yeah so but this series is pretty much going to be ridiculously hard to find anything anyway um, I think we were extremely lucky when we started last time where we had a big backpack and we had everything else. So I, I was anticipating it more to be like this anyway. So I don't mind if we lost that body. That's fine. Um, I don't think they're planning to revamp it any... I think they're planning to change, tweak it, but I don't think they're going to change it back. Um, if anything, they're probably going to double down more. I, 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 I originally preferred the old system as well, but I did a series uh, not that long. It was a while ago now, but it was where I wasn't allowed to go inside buildings and I had to forage continuously. And that did give me some more love for the new foraging system. I think it's, um, in a way, it's more overpowered than the original version because the amount of different stuff you can find now is ludicrous. Like, I think you can find pretty much every item in the game if you get high enough in foraging or lucky enough. So, it's quite good. Um, I think it would be better. There's some things they could easily make better. Like, for example, you could have... There's a couple of mods, for example, that add it where if you see sticks on the floor, you can right-click it and you or you can search them and you can get sticks on them. I think I've got one enabled. Yeah, I can search trees. So, I can just right-click on a tree and I can search the tree and that should give me... Um, potentially twigs, like branches, that sort of thing. And I've got a few mods that add it where if you see bin bags on the floor, you can search them for presumably bin bags or sticks on the floor, you can get sticks. So that sort of thing, I think, makes it a bit better. Um, so I think it's more stuff like that where you can see stuff in the world and it's, it's kind of obvious that you should be able to forage stuff from that area. That would be a nice change. But I don't mind the system as it is. I mean, if you have issues with it and you think it could be easier, harder, whatever, sandbox settings is quite good for that because you can change how often you find stuff um, in nature. So it is quite interesting. And the actual way of... Oh, now we find lemongrass. <laughs> the way of um, finding stuff is really interesting. So it all happens through nodes. And it's not like you have a chance to find something. It's that there's loads of nodes. I, th I think this is how it works. Is it kind of went over my head when someone described it to me. But it's kind of like lots of little nodes dotted around. And your character, as it levels up and you have uh, more vision effectiveness, you have more of a chance of seeing those nodes. And then you can then discover the item. But if you, I think it's if you don't have the effectiveness or you don't have the level, you just don't see the node. I think that's how it works. Which is a bit different, I think, to last time where it was just um, random number generation and... You just searched, and then you got a ton of stuff if you fast-forwarded time. 
so I, I'm what I'm really most looking forward to is fishing revamp. That's what I really want. Uh, because at the moment, fishing is kind of reminiscent of what it was uh, way back when. You just kind of sit there, fast forward time, you catch a load of fish, uh, you're fine. In the new system where they actually have proper fishing, that's going to be quite cool. I I'm really, really looking forward to that. Because uh, I think currently fishing is like the last piece of the puzzle in a way. Because it's just really easy to get food and you can easily live off fishing. If you get to like level 4 fishing... Um, yeah, before winter kicks in, you can pretty much fish with like a spear, as long as you do it at like the correct times, whatever times they are. Um, is it six and six and eight? Or I can't remember off the top of my head now. Um, the peak times. But uh, yeah, if you fish it there, you can easily just live off fish throughout winter. It's quite easy. So changing it to a proper little mini game style, which I think is what they're doing, would be really really nice. We're gonna see Marty King again. Um, the one was he was on the news, the news reel, wasn't he? Maybe, yeah, I think. Um, Mar no, Mar no, sorry, Marty King was a foraging guy, wasn't he? Yeah, um, yeah, I did have a plan for him. The uh, another series, I actually, I did, because uh, I think the last one was cut short a bit. I think some people were disappointed. But to be fair, I wasn't really sure how, how where to go with it. We'd survived all that time. And we'd got to level 10 foraging. We'd made a base outside. I wasn't really sure where to go with it. But I think uh, planning out his story and maybe doing a different map would suffice. I was, I was tempted and I nearly did have it where I just... I went up to Louisville and walked him off the edge of the map. And then just kind of cut to black. That might have been a better way to end the series um, in hindsight, but I wasn't really sure how to do it. But uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll see. I, I, I'm, I have contemplated doing a second series with him quite a few times. Ooh, Louisville map. I'll take that. Uh, can we do anything with that? No. Hang on, this is a vanilla car. You're meant to be disabled. Well, that mod didn't work. <laughs> it was meant to disable uh, vanilla. It was meant to disable uh, vanilla Rex. But that very much looks like I'm in a car. Oh, well. Right. Let's continue on our way again. And we got a load of berries, which is nice. So that should help with our thirst until we actually come across a stove. Oh, a stone, finally. Uh, let's have that berry. There we go. Got a stone. We can chip it. Nice. Might have to do that in a minute. So, right. We're at the, we're at the river. Good. So if we continued along here, we should come across the three houses. And then we can go grab the stove. And we can at least get some fresh water, which is the main problem we've got right now. So let's just keep eating these berries. That'll help get rid of some of our thirst. There we go. Good. Good, 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 good. Ooh, ginseng. Cool. There we go. Look at all this. Has that more? Oh, chipstone. Fine. So is that uh, new? Fine. Um, I wasn't sure if we could actually search those like we can with the trees, but no, it's fine. So if you've noticed, we've got a load of seeds from the random herbs that we've come across. So we do have grow medical herbs. So we can now, if we decide to farm, we could actually farm ginseng and we could farm lemongrass, which is the main one I want to farm. Because if we can get a good supply of lemongrass, we are good <laughs> for a long, 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 long time in this. So that's my aim, is if we can actually get a decent crop of lemongrass before winter kicks in. Uh, we should be safe from anything like we just had, which will be lovely. Uh, what's this? Hello? Oh, common mallow. Okay, so that should get us some um, seeds as well. Yeah, lovely. Get some twigs as well. Good. Oh, look at this. We're finding everything. Well, lots of twigs. <laughs> Still. Uh, good. And we've got our trusty pillow that we can use to have a nice snuggly sleep when we get to a decent bed. I do have a uh, sleeping bag mod enabled, so I'm not quite sure how that works with the bed comfiness side of things. But we'll see. I'm hoping it doesn't conflict or anything. And uh, I think worst case scenario is we'll just have an uncomfortable sleep. 
Which does make sense. I don't think sleeping bags are the most comfortable thing in the world to sleep in, are they? So, yeah. But I think this is a really good starting position for us to be in. Seeing as the population of the world is insane population, it's going to be difficult for us to do anything regardless. So I think up here there tends to be very few zombies, if any. Even in insane. I think we might... I think the max I've ever come across up here is about 12. So... We should technically be able to take them on without too much of an issue. I think we can equip that log in our hands. Oh, we've got a branch. Okay, we can make a tool now. That's nice. So, worst case scenario, we should be fine. Let's do that. And we should now be able to make... Let's make a spear. Good, 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 good. And... Right. Attach that one on back. We'll make a second one. Oh, we can't. Oh, we need to chip that. Fine. Chip that one. Make a second spear. And then we will be ready to take on whatever we come across. And hopefully we can get a drink of water before we die again. There we go. Right, and equip that in both our hands. Cool. Right, we're ready to take on the world. Uh, right, we're close to the road. That's the turning point of the road. So, yeah, we should just need to go pretty much in a straight line this way and we'll come across those houses. Now, I do have a bindle mod enabled, so I need to see how we make that, because that will be a useful first bag to have if we can get that sorted. I'm presuming we just need, like, a sheet and then maybe, and like, a branch or maybe a sturdy stick. We'll see how that goes. We'll look at the crafting recipe soon. But as soon as we get to this place, we've got some fresh water, I can relax a bit. But right now, we're getting slightly thirsty again. And I don't really want to uh, be out here without a drink. Okay, here we go. Black Sage. Good. That's like natural painkillers, so we've got some seeds for that. That's amazing. Good, good. Right, the problem is we are already extremely encumbered. Uh, we're nearly up to foraging level 4, though. No, I don't want that. There we go. Level 4 foraging straight away. <laughs> Might even come across some frogs soon. That would be nice. And the chance of actually us finding protein in this is extremely slim, so I might go against my normal rule. I might have to uh, have some frog legs for dinner at some point. Right. Ooh, is that it? I look promising, whatever that was down there. That's the road. Right, okay. Uh, discard, discard. Let's check the map quickly. See if I've missed anything. Hmm. No, we're nowhere... Are we nowhere near... St we're nowhere near still. What am I talking about? I'm such an idiot. <sighs> right. Once again, completely ignore me. Uh, we're still thirsty. Have that. I keep thinking that corner was the corner where those houses are, and it's just not. Uh, we've got, like, another corner to go. So we need to follow this road up a lot more. What might be better is just to follow the road, because we can come across car wrecks and they might have water bottles in them. And if we have water bottles, we can then uh, actually start yeah, doing what we need to do. Can we search for trash? We can. Focus on trash, and then we've got a good chance of finding water bottles. That's the hope, anyway. As soon as we find a water bottle, preferably glass, like a beer bottle, we can then boil it. And we should be able to make a campfire already. So I think we just need, like, twigs. And we should be set at that point, if I vaguely remember. Uh, make campfire kit. Yeah, we're fine. We just need twigs. So we just need to find a utensil for actually... Well, making... Uh, for boiling stuff in. We're good. So searching for trash is probably the best situation for us. Come on. 
Just a, a just a little glass bottle. I'm, I'll be happy with a beer bottle. Anything at this point. Right, let's speed this up a little bit. We are quite encumbered with that. Let's drop the log. There we go. Don't really need to be lugging a log around everywhere, do we? And my hope is that once we get to the house, there will be something that we can cook with. Like a bottle or something else. And as soon as we get that, we're sorted. But we're not in the greatest position again. No, this is the way technically to West Point. But we're going up, up, up and up. And there's the three houses up here, which is the west of West Point. And that's going to be our little starting location. Where we can kind of ease ourselves in. A little bit of a lag spike there, don't know what that was about. But we're not having much luck with this water bottle, are we? Or any foraging, for that matter. Come on. Oh, God. Uh, no, 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 no. How many saw us? Way too many. Stop crouching. <laughs> oh, that's what I get. How many? Uh, there's a backpack, though. We are high exertion. Um, Right. Take the ginseng. Uh, we should be able to get some thirst back from those mushrooms, actually. Didn't even think about that. So lure some back. Yeah, if we can lose a couple or space them out, that'll be much, much easier. We're getting drowsy as well. Okay, please say that helps a bit with our thirst. No. Okay, right. Okay. Fine, fine. Right. Already massive step up. Uh, right. Take. Take, 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 take. Uh, that's a massive find. That's all good, actually. Um, take those so we can rip them up later. What do you have? Anything? Not much. Uh, no, no. Oh, actually, that t-shirt was... No. Uh, wear the boxers. We'll wear the t-shirt as well, just because it's something. Okay. Let's try and lose these in the trees. Yeah, I'm not going to start searching. I'm not going to start foraging right now. Just want to lose those ones that were there. And get back on our way. That was quite a large group. But the fact that we got a survivor backpack right off the bat is nice. Uh, wild garlic. Uh, that gives us some hunger. It's the thirst I'm after. Mm. No. Those mushrooms would have helped a little bit. So that should get us before we start getting parched anyway. Right. We're going to have to watch out for wound infections then from that first life that didn't exist. I think that must have been it. Because I didn't actually check the wounds that we had underneath that. The zombie this run... The zombies this run, not much. It's literally just the fact that they're insane population. It's everything else. It's the fact that the world is so much harsher. So the zombies, really, it's just their population. Uh, we may have... there. Actually, no, that's a lie. There is a couple of things that... Uh, can pop up, but I will leave that to, uh, well, when, when and when it happens. Kind of wait to be a surprise. Unless you want to go look in the mod pack, and then you'll uh, figure out all the surprises. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm going to try and keep it a surprise until it happens. Because uh, it's a very rare chance to happen, but it could still happen. Um, 
but really it's the world that's the issue so uh it's extremely rare loot uh we have uh, a very very low chance to find anything we can have containers that are locked and we can't open them unless we find the key so there's a lot of things going against us we've got harder farming harder foraging harder trapping harder fishing i'm not sure if i said that one so uh, the world is against us as well as the zombies which makes this quite a hard run uh from what it seems although i wasn't quite sure if it was the right mod or not but it clearly is uh we have it so that uh first aid is different so basically if we get wounds that turn into infections they have a chance to kill us as well as just normal bites and that sort of thing so we can get fevers and die from wound infections so that is an interesting change as well that we're gonna have to watch out for so yeah we can, ooh, can we do anything with a straw i've got no idea i'm gonna take it anyway just in case but um yeah really it's the fact that everything heads out to get us the zombies are kind of the least of our worries especially early game early game is getting enough food and water to be able to live and uh, zombies come second really to that Ooh, an onion that is a really big find onion 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 thinking about it we need to put everything away in our bag don't we let's eat that onion put everything away lovely stuff good right we're well on our way so we should come across those houses any second now because yeah we are actually in the right place now thankfully and then we should be able to get a drink of water at least start relaxing yeah, I am. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've just seen your comment. Yeah, I've, um, I literally thought about it the same. Ooh, toy bricks. What a nice thing to find in the forest. Why are there toy bricks here? <laughs> in the middle of nowhere. Oh, well. Um, right. What's... Okay. The game just died. Why did the game just die? I don't know. <laughs> I've been playing the game for a long time and I've never had that. Um. Right, give me a minute. Uh, what? Hang on. That was bizarre. I've never, ever had the game crash like that. Okay. Um. That's a very fatal... <laughs> that's a very fatal error. Okay. We'll try again. That was weird. I've literally never... I've, I think I've had the game crash once on me. I think the whole time I've been playing various mod packs, the only time it's crashed like that uh, was in Cherbourg during my Logan Stone series. I happened to go to sleep and then Logan fell through the earth. Um, that's the only time it's ever happened. So the fact that we got an error walking is a massive concern. Okay, are we are we okay? Did we get our brick? Apparently the brick the brick's what got us. <laughs> okay, let's go back to let's go back. He loaded us just before we got the brick. That's quite funny. Um That was weird. No idea what that was about. Okay, well, let's continue on. Hopefully we don't have that again. To my knowledge, nothing on the map has changed at this point. Uh, shouldn't have done anyway. Right, uh, birdie. Don't want the birdie. Oh, we're very tired though, and we're excessively exerted. Oh god. We could potentially just sleep on the floor. It might be safer than going any closer to the houses. Hmm. May well be. Okay. We'll venture for a little bit. 
We'll see if we can come across anyone. It, best case scenario, there is no zombies at the three houses. Um, like I said before, the max I think I've found even in insane population was about 12. So uh, it would be a, it would be a stretch to try and deal with 12 right now, but we could potentially deal with them. Uh, the other thing is if I just sit for about half an hour, that should get rid of everything. Yeah, everything is against me today. This is... Uh... <laughs> it's ridiculous. Oh, well. Right. Well. It's not crashing now. So I think we're fine. Yeah, this is... Uh... Oh, I'm going to have to check what caused that error later. Because I don't want that to happen again. Right, we must be getting close now. Oh, what's that branch? Uh, we've got lots of branches. We don't need it. Can we do anything with this straw? No, we can't do anything with the straw. We've got a camera. Yay, we can take pictures. <laughs> we can document how we die. Brilliant. And what have we got? Uh, caterpillar branches. No. Okay, well, at least this is good foraging experience. Good. Right. I reckon that's... Uh, but we are thirsty. I need to get there as soon as possible so we can start cooking some water up. Because if we don't, we're just going to die of dehydration. And everything we've foraged so far, none of it that we've currently got anyway, gives us thirst back. Yeah, and I don't think there's a high chance of getting trash. Oh, trash is plus 10%. Okay, that's not too bad then. That's a bit sad though, isn't it? Deep forest. Oh no, trash is really rare. So I think it's just forest. Trash is 10%. That's sad. Um, okay, check the map quickly. Okay. Mm. I think we're fairly close. Keep going. Yeah, those bricks are clearly evil. <laughs> evil, evil, uh, evil, evil bricks. All right, come on. That's uh oh, hang on. What's that? Twigs. We don't need any more twigs. Let's walk a bit quicker. What was that? What was that? Uh mushrooms. Ooh, actually they're not poisonous. They should give us a little bit of thirst back. We are herbalist, so we know what's poisonous, what's not, which is good. Really, I'm after trash. No, thank you. Ooh, that's actually amazing. We found a mug. We can cook with that. Okay, I, I'm... Oh, there's the houses. Okay, brilliant. Right. Let's come out of foraging. What I can do now is I can set up a campfire and we can just collect the water from the river. Or we can get it from the faucets here, which is great. Uh, we are ridiculously tired. Now, do we risk just jumping into the house? And there could be zombies. I think it's probably best to do. So what we'll do is we'll... We could... I think that's rest. Let's rest here. Uh, just so that we can get rid of the extortion. Or, or not. Can barely move. Okay. There's a room in there. Right. I can't see anything. The twigs are useful for fires, which is kind of why I'm keeping them. Uh, but. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Right, we're only thirsty, so I think we should be able to just sleep the night off. 
there might be zombies in this house. But for now, I can't hear any, so I think we're okay. That's just sleep. Comfort is bad. Why is that? Is that because of the spears we've got equipped? Probably. I'm still learning this mod, so apologies for that. Let's take off the bag. Sleep. Sleep comfort is okay. Okay, maybe if we take the shoes off. Sleep, okay. Um, that's just sleep. I I'm fine with okay comfort. There we go. Right, and it looks like probably survived the night. Yeah, we survived the night. Good. It looks like we've got a storm outside, so brilliant. Uh, let's get that equipped. Another piece of clothing. Can we wear that over? No, it replaces it. Okay, let's wear that because it'll be better for the rain. Okay, where's our spears? Equip that. Get one on our back, just in case we happen to come across something. Yeah, we're going to have to try and find... Uh, well, we could try and look downstairs to see if we can find any water. If we can't, which is probably more than likely, we're going to have to go to the little cabin down the road. Okay, we got some pants, finally. Good stoof. Again, like you've seen, there's nothing. Oh, there's a bandage. Okay, good. And sheet. What can we do with the sheets? Uh, we can make a mattress, bulletproof vest. Okay, we can make that. We need tailoring. Ugh, how we went to get tailoring. Don't know. Um, drink. No, it's tainted water. Uh, let's leave it for a minute then. We're going to check all the rooms, and then we're going to pop downstairs, see if they've got... There might be a bottle of soda or something, and there might also be like a bottle of wine we can just down. Either way. Is that a pillow? What is that on the bed? I've got no idea what that's meant to be. Like a cheat? I don't know. Anyway. Let's go downstairs. Do we have the music on on this? I haven't heard any music this whole time. Give me a second. Um, no. Sorry about that. There we go. <laughs> it's probably a bit loud, actually. Hang on. Turn it down a little bit. Have some uh, ambience. There we go. Right, what have we actually got here? Ooh, boxing gear. Very nice. It replaces that. We could have the hood down, though. Yeah, automation just puts the head down. Good. Oh, we, we look amazing now. <laughs> Okay, do we have any books? I highly doubt it. And we can always use the fireplace here as well to boil, which I may well do. And we've got an empty jar, which I can use to get some water. Amazing. Good. So right off the bat, we're doing okay. Saucepan. Oh, no, saucepan with water. Hang on. It's not tainted. I don't know how that's possible, but we found something. A ton of water. And we've got pickles. Pickles to survive the apocalypse. Brilliant. Maybe some, that means that someone was here recently? The fact that we found water that's been recently boiled does indicate someone's probably been here recently. We've got a delivery value tire. Nah, I'm good. Okay. Well, we've got a little fireplace here. We've got a saucepan, so we've got a way of cooking a decent amount of water. Uh, we've fully just, like, checked out this house. We've also got a barbecue out there. I reckon, then. Let's go check out a few of the other houses. There's a very loud storm. Uh, let's turn some of that down. That's, 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 a, that's a little bit much. It's probably still way too loud. Uh, let me know if it's let me know if it's too loud for you, and I can turn it down. Um, okay. Right, it does look fairly safe for now. Let's go in. 
How is our spears looking? Not the best condition, but we should still be able to take out at least three uh, each spear. That should be A-OK. -okay. Oh, the music's changed, which tends to indicate they're zombies. Yeah, I can hear them. Hello, you. Got some keys. Okay. Fork. We do have a locked one, annoyingly. Classic watch. Boom. We've got a watch. Right, any more for any more. Can't find anything in there. Right. Okay. Search the garage first, I reckon. Okay, is that propane? We've got propane tech. Oh, there's barely any in it. But still, something. Let's go upstairs. Ooh. It's quite a nice gun. Take it. Take another pillow. Guess it can't hurt. Come on. We've gone from a uh, sheet of paper. Uh, we can read it. Is there anything on the sheet of paper? No. Cool. Let's just take it. We've gone from water being our main primary issue to uh, definitely food being our primary issue. No, we can't have any of that. Is that an electric guitar? No. Oh, it's electric bass. Nice. Oh, what's that? Rain boots. Cool. Right, because our food currently, I think, is uh, pickles and some chives. Yeah, unless we want to uh, munch on some crickets, I think we're not in the best position for that. But we should be okay. It's still, it's still fairly early in the year. We should be able to fish quite a lot if we get desperate. And I don't want to stay here too long. Really, this is just to get us on our feet, uh, try and find our bearings, and find basic tools like we have done. Uh, kind of get some hammers or knives, that sort of thing. And then we can venture out into the world. Finding a working car is going to be an issue because there are no survivor cars whatsoever. We're going to have to make our own. And the condition generally is poor for vehicles. So we're probably going to have to make them up from scratch. Which obviously isn't amazing. So <laughs> it's, it's going to be a little while before we have a working car most likely. But yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We might get lucky. Uh, right, we've got some... Are they just trash piles? I don't know what they are. I think they're just retextures. And we'll leave them alone. Let's go over to the last house. Two zombies so far. That is not bad in uh, insane population, is it? If we went any further into uh, West Point, we would probably be screwed at this point. But uh, same with Riverside, arguably. Although I'm, I'm thinking more going Riverside way anyway rather than West Point. Uh, because we should be able to come across quite a few houses on the way to West Point that aren't that heavily populated. I think we'll be much safer going that way than towards West Point. But we'll see. Okay, there's a barricade. Uh, ooh, got a couple of mugs. Got what have we got? Got a plate. Okay, it's a zombie over there. Right. Come 
man. No, I don't like this. Let's get out. Or at least get back. Where are they? You, you coming? Okay, digital watch. Mine. Key. Yep. Okay. Um, technically it started, what, uh, an hour and three quarters ago, but realistically it's about an hour since it actually probably started working. <laughs> so you haven't missed that much. Oh, tank top, mine. Uh, pretty much all we've done is go from a bunker up to the three houses west of West Point. Uh, right. Probably for the most part uh, until we find enough food and supplies to settle down for a bit. Right now, finding enough food is going to be an issue. I say that and I think that's some peanut butter on top of that bookcase. It is. That will keep us going for a little while. Carpentry Volume 2 as well. That's also a massive find. Um, yeah, because of the mods we've got and how rare loot is going to be, finding enough to get by is going to be hard. Uh, yeah, we can't do anything with them. So, yeah, I think it's probably going to be the case that we're going to have to be marginally nomadic for a little bit. Um, at least until we can get maybe a farm set up. I stopped crouching. Close that up. Uh, strangely true. We can't watch TV for a long time anyway, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, what's that over there? Comic book. Yeah, I'll be all right. Fine. Gun case. What's in the gun case? Uh, a magazine. Sure. Basically, any loot we find, I kind of have to take. Because loot is so rare. The chance of finding... Like, we might just take stuff and then... Uh, I might not realise how rare it is until it's too late. So I'd rather take stuff as I find it. Just in case. But I mean, being nomadic without a car is going to be difficult. So we're going to have to uh, see how it goes. Ooh, why are we finding so many guns? I'm not complaining that much, but uh, everything is set to extremely, like, extremely rare. And we've got the extremely rare loot mod. So... Hmm. Not quite sure why we're finding so many. To be fair, it's not like guns are that useful for us. Uh, right, denim jeans are better, though. Okay. Right, let's take out the last one that's in here. Take those jeans, we can rip them up. Anything in here? No. Okay. Right, well, that's this place cleared. I think. Last room. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything else is here. I think I spied a t shirt. Where's the t shirt? Yeah, it's better than what we've currently got. Cool. Right. Back the way we came then. Let's go back to the top house. I think for the time being, that will probably be our base. Uh, let's jump out there. Probably be temporary until we uh, set off towards Riverside anyway. Really, I just need some food. If we can get like enough to last a couple of days. Some water to last a couple of days. And we'll have basic supplies. I'm more than happy just to go. Uh, I think... Hmm, in terms of being nomadic, we could just be nomadic. Um, and I think what I'd rather do, instead of being nomadic, is we just have set bases. So we have, like, this is our base for this area. Maybe we have another one on the other side of West Point, and uh, that means that we can rotate. We can go between the different bases that we've got. I think that's a much better way of doing it, rather than just saying, we never settle down. I'd rather I'd rather be flexible with it. 
and say, well, we'll settle down for a bit or we'll settle down as and when it's useful for us. But if there's no if there's no point in us staying still, there's no point in us staying still. So, I reckon then that's dump everything that we're not using in here for now in, well, just down here. Uh, I don't think we need any of this. Can we even open this? We can't open it using apparently the fork or the bayonet. <laughs> uh, well, put everything away, I guess, for now. We'll keep the wild garlic out. And we'll keep uh, peanut butter. Just a few bits that will keep us going. Just food-wise. Uh, yeah, that'll do. Cool. Put everything else away. And then we're going to venture down to that little, uh, well, cabin just below these houses. And uh, we, if we can, we might bring back um, the Wajimajigger, the antique stove. We don't have to. We do have the fireplace. But it might be useful just to have a second one. Worst case scenario, anyway. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're able to craft a hammer. Hmm. Okay, I might take a branch then. Uh, where that tank tops, it's full. Rip that up. There we go. Uh, chuck those away. Cool. And that'll do for the minute. So can we actually make any? We can make it now. Okay. Uh, we can only make... We've only got a sh uh, chip stone. Fine. We're going to have to look for a normal hammer then. That should be fine. Okay. How dark is it going to look when we're foraging? It's not too bad. Okie dokie. That's try and find. We don't not looking for trash anymore. That's try and find for stones. We can find a stone. We can make a hammer... And we should be fine. I do have a mod that changes picking up furniture. Uh, why would I want that? I don't think I can do anything with it. I will have a look. Um, craft tackle. Oh. Quiet items. Okay, well, it's going to be a little while before we get that. I'll, I'll keep it. But, yeah. we. Um, I do have a mod that changes like picking up uh, furniture and things. And what you need for it. So, for example, uh, you don't need a saw to pick up a chair that sort of thing or a hammer to do that so uh, yeah it's it's going to be a little bit easier in that sense so i'm not quite sure because i don't tend to use it whether we need a hammer to pick up the antique stove or not i doubt it but we'll see uh, okay so we just need to go around this river lake thingy and we'll get to it and i did see that we picked up some sunflower seeds they're quite good food actually that's nice it's got that log Good stuff. We can make a bindle. Okay, I might, uh, should I do that? I'll leave it for now. What, does, what do we need to actually make it? Uh, we just need a dirty rag. Oh, we might as well do it. Literally, if it's just ripped sheets. Okay. And can be can be used to carry items when equipped or convert into a weapon if empty. Weaponized bindle. <laughs> Okay. Uh, let's pick up so we've got something to light our fire with. Another chip stone. Uh, sure. Boom. And I reckon we should probably have something to eat. The problem is that we did start underweight. So we are going to have to watch out for that. We're probably going to have to get our calories up via fishing because we don't really have another way to do so. And I don't really want to start starving episode one. So I reckon that's just suck it up and that's finish off the peanut butter. Just so we can get some much needed calories. There we go. I doubt we're going to be positive. No, we're neutral. Fine. I think that's better than starving to death. Uh, grasshopper. Yeah. Cool. Right. The good thing about the little shack down here is it does tend to have fishing equipment in. So, if we're lucky, we'll find a rod. 
and some basic bits so that we can at least start uh, putting some fat on our bones. And that'll be lovely. Should probably... Did I put I put the digital watch away? I should swap it out. We've currently got the manual one. Little analog one. Great. And some mushrooms, lovely. Good. Good, 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 good. Uh, any logs in there, no. Oh, that's annoying. Can we unbarricade? No. How are we going to do that then? We need a, we need a stone so we can unbarricade it, I guess. Um, disassemble. Ah, uh, that's so annoying. Disassemble. Mm. We literally just need a hammer. Oh no, and a saw. Um, a hammer so that we can take that. Uh, take the barricade off though, and there's one there. <laughs> we're so close to getting in. <sighs> fine. Fine, we're going to have to wait. It's fine. We'll come back. It's not that urgently needed. Um, We're better off getting stones on the road. But I don't want to go down to the road from here just in case there just happens to be a ton of zombies and then we lure them back up. So I'm going to go back round. It's starting to get late anyway. We'll settle down. We'll try and find some stones in the morning. Uh, it's probably because I had to turn the uh, quality down just because everyone was having problems with the stream not working at all at the beginning. So I had to compensate and reduce everything so that it was at least watchable to some degree. Ooh, an onion. But yeah, I'm hoping next time I do the stream it won't, we won't be having these issues. But um, yeah, that's probably the issue. That's probably the reason why. Um... Hopefully we won't be having that issue again. Ooh, a stone. Oh, we did get one. Okay, um... Brilliant. Right, so we should now be able to make a hammer. Okay. Good. And I think, after that, we should then be able to just, um... Get into that place. Good. Got it? Yeah, we got it. Okay, let's do a little bit of running go back down. Four eighty P does seem quite low though. I thought it would be seven twenty. I don't know. That's a bit weird. Right, hopefully I can get in here now. It doesn't really make much sense though if it is the case, because a stone hammer would not really have the ability to remove planks of wood from a door. <laughs> remove nails. Um But uh let's have a look. No, we can't. We can't remove it. Can we not? It doesn't look like we can. Okay. Fine. Back to the drawing board. Probably the easiest way is just to craft an axe. Do it that way. Force our way in. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to do that now. We're already uh, moist. I don't really want to get wet. Let's go around. Doopy 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 doo. Stable foraging just while we go over here. Oh. Really? This is the sort of random things you can find while foraging. We just found some coveralls. <laughs> well, um, I wonder if they're comfortable to sleep in. Uses five. <laughs> no idea what that means. Let's get in. Okay, right. Cool. Yeah, I probably should really prioritise branches over twigs. Um, but That's the combat music. Why do we have the combat music? 
I don't think I checked this room, actually. There's a zombie in here. No. It sounds like there's the combat music. Hmm. Interesting. Right, anyway. Let's get in here. Shut the curtains. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Can I even close that? No. Um, fine. Get that. Cool. So, are we starving again? Yeah, we are. Okay. Let's have some fresh mushrooms. Tasty mushrooms. Sunflower seed as well. That must be a big old sunflower seed if it's 193 calories from one seed. Presuming it's meant to be a handful, but still. Um, there we go. Right. Let's go to sleep. Oh. Okay, that was a very quick sleep. And fine. It does worry me how epic the music still is. One of them. So we can create another spear if necessary. Let's have a quick look at what we can craft. Okay. We're cooking level two to make that. So we can make all the sorts of paint and things. We could make a tent. That would be useful, especially if we are going to be going around doing all sorts of random stuff. Um, not much else we can really do with it, though. Okay. So... The thing that we're lacking to make any tools is rip sheets. I think we'll just rip that up. It's got awful condition anyway. There we go. Now we should be able to make... There we go. So, let's make an axe for now. There we go. And we should then be able to make... Could add a fork to our spear. Now nah, I'm good. Uh, we can make some cloth filters, and I think that helps with drinking... I'm not sure how that works, so I'm going to have to look into that. Um, but... Can we make a knife? Missing tree branch is fine. Okay. That's uh, wait a little bit till it's light so you can actually see what I'm doing. There we go. Right, new day is dawning. Very little to show for it. Did I check here? I don't think I did. There tends to be bottles of wine and alcohol. No. It'd be too good if we could find a bottle of bourbon, wouldn't it? <laughs> be all our calorie issues just gone at that point. Got some socks. You know what? I will wear the socks. I don't even know if we've got any socks on. We didn't. Good. Okay. And what have we got in here? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how we can eat sunflower seeds when the sun's dry. <laughs> uh, let's make a knife. Right, and there we go. Right, we've got all the basic tools now, which is good. We don't have a belt, so we can't really do much with it uh, in terms of equipping it, but we've got all the basic tools that we could use. Well, let's swap out the... Does it have an alarm on it? No. <clears throat> right. Get that. Good stuff. Put it that way. And, 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 and. I reckon that's... Eat, eat, eat some chives. A tasty meal of chives. And let's eat the stale mushroom before it gets any worse. It does increase boredom and unhappiness, but we'll go outside and we'll be fine. There we go. Right. That is an awful storm. It's equip the axe in both hands for now. And we're going to go see if we can chop down the... well, the barricades. That little shark. That's walk two. Come on. Quick pace. Let's sneak, just in case there happen to be other zombies nearby. I doubt it. You never know. 
Alright, here we go. This one. This one's only got. Two. I definitely can't just remove it, can I? It's really annoying. What I'm worried about is the act is probably going to break before we actually start breaking this plank. Which is ridiculous, but that's the way it goes. Nothing. Please say it wasn't all for nothing. Uh, there's a locked container there. That's... And nothing! <sighs> Fine. Can we even pick this up? Too heavy for inventory. Of course it is. Um, okay. Well, I'm not going back empty-handed, so we're taking this with me. Okay. Well, a shame about the... Um, the lack of fishing equipment. I was really hoping to get some, but we've got the anti cabin. I suppose that's something. Come on. Right, here we go. Can't sprint when equipped in hands. Right, so can we pick that up? We can. Yeah, yeah there we go. Right, <laughs> let's wheel it out of here. I love your little legs going in this. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> Okay, right. Let's uh, put that away. Right, and let's uh, quickly walk back to base. There we go. Getting a little bit wet, but it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Right, we're back, and I tend to like putting it just in this corner. Let's place it uh, right there. <clears throat> Good. I suppose that's not a bad start, considering that we start off with pretty much nothing. I mean, technically, I could go back for my uh, first body, but I'm not going to. We're gonna we're gonna pretend that doesn't exist. And, hmm, I suppose what I should probably do is start grabbing some water. We still got some water in there. I'll leave them to fill up. Do you have any other containers? I'm pretty sure we had a few more, didn't we? Yeah, let's grab them. Any more, any more, any more? I think that's probably it. Yeah, cool. Cool, drop them. Put them away. We go. And let's try and do some fishing. I guess it's probably the only thing we can do at this point. There we go. So I think really after we've uh, got the basics down here, I'm probably going to head back towards Riverside. Um... <clears throat> so, I think that's probably the best call. We can go for those houses near there. Let's go into large backpack. Good. Um, Rimworld series, I am I had to disable all updates. I have made it so that I'm only using Rimpy to open the uh, files. And I've had to locally download all the mods to make sure that they don't update and break everything. Um, I have recorded a bit ahead just to make sure that... Um, I finish the series before everything breaks on me. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm I'm nearly at the end of the series from recording wise. So I think I've probably got maybe one or two episodes left, I think, until I could say the series is complete. So I'm not going to spoil anything, but yeah, 
uh, I, I did need to rush it, unfortunately, a bit, which is sad because I was really looking forward to getting stuck into it for a while. But, um, yeah, it's just one of those things. It happened to me the first time I did a Project Zomboid series. A major update came and broke everything. I had to rush my first series. My first Logan Stone series was rushed right at the end, which was a massive shame. Um, it's just the way it is. But, um, yeah, I am, I'm prepared as long as I don't make a mistake and cock up and accidentally... Uh, allow downloads to happen, I should be fine. Technically imminent, like, for... until until the end of time. But, um, it does mean that I can't play RimWorld, and I have actually bought Anomaly, so I'm kind of itching to play it personally. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna see how it goes, but I'm anticipating that, uh, the series will probably be over in the next few weeks, and I can start work on some other bits. And I'll probably end up doing another series on RimWorld fairly soon. Um, because I've really enjoyed doing it, and I think it's uh, it's been fairly well received. So, yeah, it'll be good to kind of do some new content. Maybe do some um, anomaly stuff. That'll be quite cool. Anyway, how are we going to do with this? I doubt we're going to get much from this, if anything. I don't think it's even worth risk like wasting our time. Um, our fishing is only one. So, uh, it, it would be hard for us to catch anything on level 1 anyway with a spear. I don't even know if it's physically possible. Um, we might have more of a chance we go at the peak times. Which, I think... Uh, top of my head is... Is it 6am and 6pm? Something like that. But anyway, we, we will go fishing probably at 6pm. Uh, just so that we have a chance to catch something. I will set an alarm for 6 so I don't forget... Just set it for. There we go. Ten to six. We'll do some fishing then. Hopefully, we'll catch something. Um, I think it is actually later than six. I think it's six in the morning and then like eight in the evening. But at least if we start earlier, then we can go through. Let's unpack the deer head. We can place that somewhere. Uh, let's place it there on our wall. Hey, brilliant. Right, and let's sleep. Just for a few hours. There we go. Uh, yes, there, there probably will be an anomaly series at some point. Um, it, it's too good to not do one, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, I have, like I said, I haven't played it at all because I need to finish the series before I can even do it. Um, it's the reason I haven't updated my uh, my uh, settlement quest mod. It's because I haven't been able to download 1.5. So, there's that. But, uh, yeah, I do want to do a series on it. I would like to play it personally before I actually make a series on it so I know roughly what I'm doing. But, um, yeah, it would be very, very fun to have a go with it. So, uh, let's do some fishing. And in our large backpack, lovely. What oh, I could do, I'm wondering if I can just make. Can I? Can I just make thread? Craft thread. Here we go. Um, I just need five rip sheets. So I think I probably can make a fishing rod, like a basic one. I think I could just use thread, uh, a nail, or paper clip, and a branch. I I can see. Um, I'll have I'll have a look at that. See if I can do it in a minute. Let's fast forward. See if I can catch anything from doing this. If we catch anything, I will be happy. The chances are quite slim, though. No, we're not going to catch anything, are we? No. I think we would have more luck crafting a fishing rod and doing it that way. So. Let's go back inside. I think we'll rip some stuff up. Um, I'll see if I've got the recipe to make it. I believe I do. I think as Wild Man, I think we have the recipe for fishing. Might be wrong on that, though, but I'm pretty sure it gives us the basic fishing, re uh, fishing recipe. Let's just check that out. And if we do, that means we should be able to make a fishing rod. And all will be gravy. Um... Do -do 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 -do. 
socks. Socks bloody. Ah, uh, let's rip up some socks. And rip up that t shirt as well. And that should mean we can make. Uh, hopefully. No, we can't. Right. I think we would need to clean them. Can we clean? Clean rags. Uh, let's clean two. Wait, what? Okay. Uh, can we make it now? Craft thread. Here we go. Oh, it's a full one? Really? Okay, wow. I wasn't expecting that. Um, make fishing rod. Please, 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 please. Oh, we can't grade our bags. Oh, there's so many recipes. Fishing rod. Here we go. Hope we need to have fishing rod. We've got the wildman trait, so we just... Oh, we need twine. Got it. Fine. Uh, so, twine. How do we make twine? <laughs> Craft twine. We need oh, 20 units of thread, so we need another five, I think. That will do. Cool. Okay, so we're getting there. Uh, we just need to rip up, like, one more thing. That should be all right. Uh, let's rip up one more sock. And then... Uh, jar of Tainted. Let's just grab those. And we're going to have to cook them up, I'm presuming. Uh, so... Although, how are we meant to light a fire? We should be able to do it with, a, I think, a branch and a... We need a log. Or a plank. Can we disassemble them? We need a saw. Right, we need something that we can disassemble without anything. So we should be able to disassemble... We need a saw. Oh, let's go to sleep anyway, because it's too dark to see. Turn the alarm off for now. Right, so I'm presuming. Yeah, we're probably going to need. Okay, we can disassemble them. Yeah, we just need to get lucky and get a plank. As soon as we get a plank, we can drill it, and then we just need a branch, and then we can light some fires. Completely forgot about that. <laughs> Scrap wood. And we also get nails doing this as well, which uh, does work out. And it should also get a carpentry up. No. Okay, fine. Um, no, I need a saw for that. Fine. And no. Oh, shelves. Why do we need a saw for those, but not for the... Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, the desk? We can disassemble the desk. This is ridiculous. Why, why, do the, why does the desk not need a saw, but those little shelves you do? Those shelves are literally a plank of wood attached to the wall. <laughs> Here we go. Right, just more scrap wood. Lovely. Uh, just someone. No, we can't get any of that. Uh, the chair? No, you saw for that. This is. These rules are weird. Uh, let's go for this one. No. No. Uh, that chair? No. Okay. Fine. We got a nail, which is one of the things we did need. So that's something. Gone sort, nope. Hmm. 
These rules are marginally frustrating. We can disassemble the table. <laughs> These rules are so weird. Uh, okay, and disassemble that as well. Well, that is bizarre, because I would feel like that would need a saw. Oh, we got a plank. Good. Okay, drill, drill, drill. Drill the plank. Good. Okay, we can finally make fire. Excellent. Right. Now, did we have any more branches? I'm pretty sure we used them all. Yeah, we have to go foraging again. Or we can just search in the tree, see if we can find anything in that, doing that. Uh, I think we got some twigs. I think we have more luck if we search the bigger trees, to be fair. Let's try some of the bigger ones. If we don't find any in this one, I'm just going to start foraging. Oh! Look, we got fresh eggs. Oh, that's amazing. I didn't expect that. I thought it was just going to be like twigs and branches. Ow! Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> okay, note to self. This is not a good idea. Start searching. I'm going to search for firewood, please. Thank you very much. Although we could just, in theory, uh, remove the bushes. They give branches. Yeah, stop that. There we go. Right. Cool. And now we should be able to light some fires. Go, go, go. So that's add uh, twigs. Just do all, but we'll cancel before anything else. So each twig gives uh, 15 minutes, I think. Yeah. We don't need any more than that, so that should be fine. And we should be able to light the fire. Okay, we've got the basics down. We've got all the tools. We've got a way to light fires. We're good. Excellent. Right, uh, let's chuck those in. We might as well also make eggs for breakfast. Lovely. Good. Let's have a pickle to celebrate. Okay, we've got them. Good stuff. Uh, that's pour... Can we pour those in? Oh, we can make them as a spice. That's nice. Uh, let us... Let's take all them out, actually. Let's try and pour them into the saucepan. Then we'll fill it up from the sink boil them again. Right, so. Pour into saucepan. Pour into saucepan. Right. Uh, let's just fill all. There's barely any water in that. Oh, we can fill up that pop can. Okay, nice. Where did the pop can go? Oh, in here. Okay, cool. Leave them to boil. For some reason, that pop can is taking forever. There we go. Good. Now I've got a little surplus of water, which is nice. Put that out. Brilliant. Let's eat our cooked wild egg. Ah, tastiness. Good. Right, so... Technically, now, we should, in theory anyway, be able to rip these up, get some rip sheets, let's clean all of them. I don't think that's a full one yet, that's not. And we should now be able to make another thread. 
And then we should be able to make a fishing rod. Well, craft one twine anyway, then we should be able to make a fishing rod. I hope. Um, no? Is that not enough twine? Oh, for God's sake. Why? Uh, fix fishing rod. No, make fishing rod. It has to be a sturdy stick. I thought it could be a... I thought you could do it from a branch. I feel like I'm going insane. Um, it has to be a sturdy stick. And to make a sturdy stick, you need... Oh, you can use... Okay, you can use a knife. Fine. Uh, let's make a sturdy stick then. Uh, what? It was there! <laughs> Why? Uh, craft helper. Make torch. Make, yes, that was make sturdy stick. Carve sturdy stick. I need commentary too. Oh, everything is against me today. Okay. Right. So, we're kind of stuck then. We have to level up carpentry. To level up carpentry, I need to take stuff apart. But to take stuff apart, I need um, a saw. Which I just don't have. Okay, then. Fine. Well. On that note. We're probably going to need to start venturing out then. Because I can't do much right now with what I've currently got. So. Let's take the tarp. Take the seeds. I think we're probably going to leave the guns. Because there's no point taking them. We'll take that as a distraction, potentially. Uh, pink glow stick. Just in case we need it. Mm, does that replace anything? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Hmm. Let's read that map before we go. Call that something. Right. Uh, oh, yellow. Cool. Well, we didn't stay very long. But we might come back. But without a sturdy stick, we can't do much. The only other thing is potentially... If we can make one from, yeah, plank, but we have to have a saw. Okay. I think there's some ways we can get sturdy sticks from disassembling certain things. Uh, but I think for now we're just going to have to go. Hope that we can come across a saw somewhere. And I've got a vague idea of where to go and look for one first. If we follow the road round, we should eventually get to a little settlement, not that far away, um, which is kind of, if we go to the map quickly. So where we were here, this was where the bunker was, if we continue along this road, I think it's about here, there's a road turning off, and there should be a little camp, well, there's a little house there and some storage areas. I think there's probably quite a good chance of finding a tool, or to some tools in there. Now, I could go into West Point proper and try and get that, but insane population zombies, uh, with our gear, it, we would last five seconds. We could probably kill maybe five zombies before our crafted spears give up. So, don't really want to do that. We should have enough food to get by for the day. But I'm going to have to be reliant on foraging to get to top it up. So I think this way is probably the best way. I could risk West Point, but I don't think we're ready. There we go. Coolio. Right, let's continue on our merry way then. And let's just do this, and then we'll stop when we find anything to forage. Then we'll go from there. Um, oh, there's a car. 
might be best to go along the roads. We do risk coming across more zombies, but if we get lucky with Rex, like that, we can get a screwdriver. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I'm glad I did that. Oh, and duct tape. Oh, this is amazing. Another map of Louisville. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, new plan. We're going to go along the road. We're going to risk the zombies. If we come across them, we can always just go back to those houses. Ooh, what do we have here? There's a trailer. I think it's a water trailer. Yeah, portal water. Does it have any water in it? Let's have a little look. I doubt it, but this is nice to know it's here. Um, It's got a load of water in it. It can hold a ton. And it has a filter. Nice. Okay, so we could technically just drink straight from this, I think. Yeah. That's nice to know. I need to come back for this. When we got a car, we'll take that. Uh, we're coming back for this. That's very nice to know. Cool. Because I think we can... I, I don't know if it can with these ones. But there are certain trailers that you can just back up to lakes and rivers. And you can fill them up that way. And then you can um, just have unlimited water. Like filter it through. So that would be amazing if that it works like that. Um, yeah, it's just unlimited water really. The filter is the best bit. Because that means we don't need to even boil water. We're, it's just done. Right. Let's continue then. Do do do. Now, we do have a few mods that add, like, hunting. Oh, these are where there's... Oh, where did all the other zombies go? I'll keep an eye out in case they've drifted. Um, we do have a... <clears throat> we do have a hunting mod on this. So, with guns, we can hunt. Um, and I think it only works... <clears throat> I think we've, we've got... I've got a patch which works with uh, the Guns of 93, which is the gun mod I've got. So, technically, the guns we left back there, we could use for hunting. I think the problem is that they let off quite a loud noise. So, <laughs> if we were successful in the hunt, that's great. But at the same time, all the zombies from nearby would flock to us. So, I didn't want to risk doing it now. But, in the future, we could always go back, get those guns and a little bit of ammo. And we could use it to hunt some animals. Which uh, might be quite nice to do. For now, though, I think I'll be content having the uh, meager amounts of food that we've got. Got a baseball. Uh, fine. Can be our friend. Can just <laughs> uh, but bully, bully, bully. There we go. <laughs> our little friend. Just draw some eyes on it. Well, it's, we don't even have a pen. We can uh. Smudge it with dirt. <laughs> uh, Rimworld Anomalies, like, uh, it's a new DLC that's out. I'm so glad we found the screwdriver, though. I was worried it was going to be ages before we found a proper tool. And it's full condition as well. So that's pretty nice. Right. Okay, let's continue on. What? Oh, we're, oh, we're thirsty because we uh, we don't actually have any, uh, any water in our inventory. Let's put that there. There we go. Ooh, what's this? What do we have? We have a spatula. Is that actually a weapon? No, it's junk. Can you do? Oh, you can use it for cooking. Okay, I'll, I'll keep it. We 
We are already getting tired. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I think I've. I think I'm pretty sure I've disabled it going off in this because if ever house alarms go off ten years later, it's a little bit weird. <laughs> but yeah, uh, house alarms going off in uh, when uh, the power's off is a bit weird, isn't it? I'm presuming it's for balance reasons, but still, uh, what can we do anything with a log? Let's have a look. Um, make wooden meat tenderizer. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm presuming that's a weapon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we've got a wood meat tenderizer, which I'm presuming, yeah, we tenderize some meat with it. Very nice. Or we can use it as a little little weapon. Okay. Good. Ah, oh, come on. Right, that's, uh, let's fast forward a bit. I mean, if we are able to forage up a saw, that would be amazing. The chance of doing that is pretty slim, but it's not impossible. Could get extremely lucky and find one. But I think we're more likely to find, like, a pickup or something that happens to have one in the back. Uh, that was a log we dropped before. There should also be, uh, fairly near here, there's a couple of, like, constructed, or uh, houses currently under construction. So, we could probably look in there. There might be saws there. But it's just, the problem is, with the amount, oh dear, the amount of loot that we can get is so small. What would we do with that? Um, that it's, like, going out your way for anything is is a potential risk. So we only really want to go to places if we know there's lots to find or it's on the way to something else. Otherwise it's potentially just a wasted trip and a massive waste of calories. Uh, have we looked in this one before? No. So that was, I thought I heard a zombie then. Then let's keep going. Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Another screwdriver. Oh, we actually got a key for this. There's nothing in it, obviously, but still. Um, okay, good to know. Right. Now, the... Yeah. Down here was where the bunker was at. Hmm. Might not be a bad shout to go the other way. Because there's the farm down here, isn't there? Might be something there. Yeah, let's, let's go down there first. Because we are getting tired. Here we go, here we go. All matches, that's like the best find ever. There's a key in this one as well. Nothing else, but still, matches are amazing. And the fact that it was, I think that was full condition as well. Uh, yeah, it was. That's a really good find. So it looks like cars the way to go for loot at the moment. Okay, that's the first couple of zombies we've seen in quite a long time. Okay, I'll leave that. Nah, 
little bother with that. Okay. Got two or three more down there. The good thing about spears is the insta kill like that. Uh, without that, we would probably be screwed. Um, but I think as wild man, we do have um, we do have a bonus with spears, which is useful. So I probably will try and stick with spears for this playthrough because they're like the best renewable weapon that we've got right now. Anyway. Oh yeah. Okay, that's one down, one down. There you go. Oh, come on. Right. Okay, that's one down. Can we do anything with it? Uh, scrap it. Wait, why would... Did I just scrap the unbroken one? Why would you do that? Um, <sighs> um, oh, I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, there goes my weapon. Uh, paperclip. Sure. I'll take that as well. Okay, where's that meat tenderizer? Uh, there. Okay, we'll go back to foraging. I got an ambulance. Oh, a couple of vehicles, actually. Let's stop foraging for a sec. That's probably where all those zombies came from in hindsight. Ambulance key. Nice. Uh, down ring. Don't think we can do anything with that. First aid kit. I'm going to take that. And the flashlight has... I think that's full battery. Dirty band as well. That's good. Cool. Okay. I do need to sleep, though. That farm should be fairly close by. Another ambulance key. There's nothing in here. Uh, I'll take the West Point map. That's actually really useful. Okay, what do you have? Louisville map. I yeah, don't need that. Uh, read that one as well. Cool. Oh, God's sake. Yeah, we need to replace that spear as soon as possible. Because this... Oh, my God. Um, how much space do we have? Okay, we do have enough space. They're so rare. The well, all, to be honest, it's ten years later. So it's like, in game sense, it's twelve months later. All car batteries are pretty much dead. You're lucky to find anything that has any charge. We've just found a full battery. It's heavy duty. We could. Th that means that we could probably make any car drivable that we found so far. I mean, unfortunately, we had. To we don't have amateur mechanic like we did in the first life, um, but yeah, that's that's a massive change. We just need to now find a magazine that enables us to actually work a heavy duty car, and, and we've got we'll have a working car. It wouldn't be very good, but it's something, and that's like the hardest piece to find apart from the magazine itself. So I'm pretty pleased with that. So now it's just a case of finding a magazine. Right. Okay, we are very tired. Right, okay, that, like, for example, this. But we should be able to change out a bat uh, car, surely, car battery without mechanic knowledge. I mean, I have personally no mechanic knowledge, but I can, I can change a battery. Uh... 
like for example this is horrendous yeah okay we can if, if we find a semi-decent car we can make it drivable technically we could drive this it would probably go about two meters before it crashed but still okay yeah ignore me we don't we don't need to get the mechanics um it's magazine we can just replace the battery no problem cool well i think then um let's keep going along this road and i think what we're going to do is we're just going to go into this house we'll probably have to rest up there after we've searched around and then i might call it for today it, it, it's been obviously quite short because of the issues we had right at the beginning. Um, but it's just the way it is. Um, I can't really go on much later than that unless because it's... For me, it's caught, it's caught past 11. Uh, ran out of time to edit my RimWorld series today, so I'm going to have to <laughs> do that straight after this. Um, yeah, and I would like to go to sleep at some point today. Um, ooh, that mine. Good. Okay. Now, there's uh, sometimes no zombies here, sometimes a handful. So I'm a little bit wary. I think what might be prudent is... There's one right there. Let's do that. Uh, let's take that off. If we remove bush until we get a branch then we make a spear and that will be much much easier um push 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 there well, i think there was a barricade on that one so he's probably gonna be there for a little while there we go there's one uh let's make a spear oh two oh two good And let's equip that one on our back. Good. And that one in our hands. Drop that on the floor. Cool. Right. Much better position because then we can insta-kill them. Because the meat tenderizer was alright. If we were not tired at all, it would be fine. But when we're this tired, doing anything is a chore. There we go. And we've got some keys. Even worse looting. It doesn't say what they are. I'm hoping that's something nearby then. I did just see... It's a gravel bag. That's poor on the ground. We'll get a sack at least. We can use that for a variety of things. Good. And what's over here? Nothing. And a padlock. We don't need a padlock. Um, can we use that to lock? Hmm. I'll take it anyway. Never know. Locking a door or something might be useful at some point. I think we can use that to lock doors anyway. Let's see. Okay, is there anything in this barn? Can't see anything. There's some nice stuff on the floor. It doesn't look like we're going to find anything today. No. Okay, let's push on to the house. ridiculously tired i'm praying there's no more than three zombies in this house we might have a tough time with any more than that come on all right can't see any there one
Oh god, no, 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 no. I count at least four. Come on. Okay, I'm presuming at least one of them is on that window. Try and insta kill it. It's probably better use of our spear than anything. Yeah, come out. Oh come on! How many stabs does it take? why I can't just... <laughs> I think there's something there I can't see. There we go. Okay, there was something there. What was that? Emergency drinking water. I'll take it. Um... What was that? Can be ration and bayonet. Yeah, fine. There was a fight went on here, didn't it? A key and a K ration. Oh, there's loads of food. It's amazing. Clearly, survivors had it out for each other here. A key for this place as well. Can barely see though. Oh, there's one in there. I don't like this at all. Hang on, didn't we have a flashlight? 